Bingo Cat here. So today I'm going to be unboxing a brand new 4K monitor for you guys to see. This monitor is going to be a Dell monitor. I'll give more on the specs and details later, but first I'm going to do the actual unboxing. As you can see, I have this gigantic package here, and I'm going to unbox it, and it's going to replace this monitor, this Dell monitor, which I'm going to put for sale up on eBay. I'll actually put a link, I'll tweet a link to it when it's live on eBay to sell in case any of you guys really want to buy it. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this monitor. As you can see, you got scissors right here. Oh snap, I got another box, hooray. Here we go, Dell 24 inch, money, hooray. Um, P2415Q, no idea what any of that means, but this monitor was really cheap for a 4K monitor. And Dell claims this is their highest resolution monitor ever. Here we go. Alright, so I've used my new 4K monitor for about a day now, and here are my thoughts and impressions on it. So first off, as you can see, sorry, there's still a little bit of clutter here, and you do a little bit of cable management. It's a little bit bigger than my old monitor. It's a 24 inch versus 22 inch. Alright, some things I like about this monitor is, as you can see from the back here, this monitor is actually fully adjustable. You can adjust the tilt, you can adjust the height, or you can flip this monitor different ways if you want. I'm not going to do it fully, but here you go. Here's what the actual 4K resolution looks like. Um, it's a Dell 2415Q monitor once again, and uh, it looks pretty darn gorgeous. The only problem I have with 4K that Windows does not do a good job at handling is the DPI scaling, which stands for dots per inch for some programs and some games, is way too low. Like, look at this. This is Minecraft, right? Look how small this text is. Look at this. Now, there's workarounds on the internet that involve you having to do stuff like editing the register and whatnot, but like, for example, in Mac OS X, you don't have to do any of that. It just works, even if the resolution is really blurry. And Windows, on the other hand, for programs that don't support high DPI, this is what you get. You get this microscopic test, unless text that, like, unless you have, like, a 40-inch monitor or something, you can barely read it all. Like, I have perfect vision, and this thing, it's really hard to read. But other than that, 4K is gorgeous and worth the upgrade. Like, seriously. You get so many more pixels in one space. So, to answer the question, is it worth buying a 4K monitor in 2016? The answer is, eh, not really. I'd wait maybe two more years, or maybe just one year, I don't know, until... Microsoft decides to fix the DPI scaling issue in Windows. If you want to invest in the future, because this is going to replace HD, no doubt in my opinion, then yeah, getting a 4K monitor right now is really good. So as far as movie watching goes on a 4K monitor, it's gorgeous looking. There's only really two places I know of online where you can get movies right now, and it's just Netflix and YouTube. As far as 4K gaming goes, most games don't really support 4K yet. The ones that do, it really it stresses out your graphics card so bad that you'll just want to game at 1080p unless you plan to get multiple high-end graphics cards. Yeah, that's basically all. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.